Good evening. This is Judo Wickens 28 coming to you again with another source or witness telling you that the biblical tribe of Judah was indeed in West Africa. And this book is entitled A Mission to Jaleli, King of Dahomey by Richard Burton in the year 1863. And it states that I dwells with the light upon the numerous country villages, like the 115 towns of the tribe of Judah. And upon the thin forest of palms rising from the tapestry of herbage, here waving, there cut short, which combined to make the spot the fredas or paradise of the homie land. So right there, you see that the tribe of Judah had 115 towns in the homie land, which is in West Africa. And what's interesting about this is that this area was known as the kingdom of Judah prior to the homie destroying it in the year 1727. This is the area of the slave coast where the slaves were shipped off from to different parts of the world, the kingdom of Judah. And these people were in fact known as Jews. So this fulfills the warnings given to the Israelites in Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, Leviticus 26, 14 through 46, and the warning and prophecy of the Messiah in Luke 21, 24, when the Messiah himself said that you shall be led away captive into all nations. The Mexicans have never been led away captive into all nations. The Ashkenazi have never been led away captive into all nations. The Gypsies have never been led away captive into all nations. The only group of people in the world led away captive into all nations was the tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes from the tribe of Judah. It's as simple as that. So with that being said and done, black people in America and around the world who are descended from the transatlantic slave trade, you are the tribe of Judah, the true biblical Hebrews.